I'm going to show you how to enable IP version 6 on Cisco Packet Tracer, uh, Cisco Switch 2916 Packet Tracer. If you look at the switch here, this has got 15.02 version from the show version command. You can see this is running 15.02 version, but still IPv6 commands are not active. Um, I tried to add the command so you can see the IPv6 is not detected. So which means um, I, this version definitely has got IP version 6 enabled, but um, it is not being configured in the SDM. So what we have to do is we have to just make sure that we have to enable it on the SDM. So let me go to global configuration mode. In the global configuration mode, just use the command SDM dual um, prefer uh, dual IP version 6 default, right? Once you give this command, right give the command sdm preferred 12 ipv4 and ipv6 default and then hit enter now it's it's just changed the preference to run through both dual operating system or dual version of ipv6 and ipv4 uh, but this will be only active after you do a reboot so let's go exit and reload the route uh, switch so reload yes uh, confirm now the switch is just we are just reloading the switch uh, let's see once it's been reloaded let's go have a look and see what happens whether the command is enabled or not so enable configure terminal interface vlan 1 ipv6 address wow there you go now the command is enabled so we can definitely see IPv6 is now enabled, right? You can just see, you just should be able to configure it after that. So this is how we enable the IPv6, but keep in mind, once you restart the, the packet tracer, this will be uh, deactivated, so we can't use it. So every time when you're using the IPv6, or if you wanted to use the IPv6, you must enable IPv6 and run the command, right? So this is how we enable IPv6 on Cisco packet tracer, uh, especially for Cisco Switch 2960 series. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye.